Hey guys, welcome back to the Fake Up series. So this is the second video in the Fake Up series and if you guys are watching for the first time then Fake Up series is somewhere I talk about the fake makeup which is everywhere in the market these days. I compare it with the real products and also I swatch it, I tell you the differences, also I let you know my uh, opinion about whether they are like good fakes or the bad fakes and also at the same time I create a complete makeup look using those fake products and let you know guys about what I think about those products. So yeah, this is is what about the fake up series is and today we are talking about not one but two products and their fake ups one is by NYX and another one is by Anastasia Beverly Hill liquid lipsticks I'll be talking about the fake up products from both these uh, brands and also I'll compare it with the original one as well I'll show you the swatches I'll show you the comparison of it and you guys can see yourself how you know how similar they are or how different they are uh, also there's one thing which I always tell on this series and today also I want to mention this video is not about promoting the fake makeup this video is just about uh, spreading the awareness or just talking about the product which I review on my channel so it has nothing to do with anything with the people who are behind it or you know the brands or anybody else such it's just about reviewing a product on my channel so let's look at the product and yeah before if you think that I'm sick or something I'm not it's just that I'm not doing any makeup as such today my script is not behaving too well if you can see some you know some breakouts are there so that's the reason I'm just keeping it really you know just moisturized it and I'm not doing anything on my skin as of now so uh, if you think I look really uh, you know very blank and very dull I'm so sorry about it but I really can't do anything <laughs> because my skin comes first until it gets healed I'm not planning to you know put on any heavy amount of makeup on it so yeah let's just talk about the NYX products first and then we shall move to the Anastasia one so this is the NYX real versus fake as you can see the fake one is little bigger than this real one in size and but if you look at the packaging it has the same way the sticker which is there on the cap on the fake one also it is there if you look closely at the packaging the real one has the NYX written over there and it says soft matte lip cream that's it and also the same thing is written in the French also but if you look at the fake one it says NYX then it talks about what this lipstick is all about like what kind of texture is there and all so this is a total fake one because this thing is nowhere mentioned on the real one now if you look at the cap you can see the real one has the color name indication on the cap also but the fake one does not have if you look at the bottom it's almost same both of them have the color name and the color number indication at the at the bottom of the lipstick the back of the liquid lipstick has all the ingredient list just like the original one so it is same at the back when you look at the cap it has the same kind of rubber feeling just like the real one now look at the swatch this is the fake one you can see it's not that creamy unlike the NYX soft matte lip creams it's very thin in the texture and it has a very glossy effect also Now this is the swatch of the real one. You can see how pigmented it is. It does not feel glossy at all. There is no uh, blotchiness. It's very opaque and the texture is little thicker than the fake ones. It does not have any kind of sheen to it. So as you see when I'm swapping it on my lips it looks really blotchy it's not thick at all in the consistency you can see so many patches over there on my lips and even if I try to swipe three four times on my lips it's gonna make the application look even more messy so texture wise it's really really bad it's nowhere close to the original soft matte lip creams. As you see when I'm swiping the original one it's so thick in consistency and that is the reason it's a very moosey soft matte lip cream. It's not a liquid lipstick it's creamy in the formula which makes it really opaque and stays for a very good long time. You can't see any kind of blotchiness any kind of patchiness at all and the one single swipe is so freaking opaque. The fake one is really 
a failure in my opinion so yes guys now i have two lipsticks by anastasia one is fake one is real one and we shall see the differences in both of these ones so again i bought the fake one from the instagram and uh, yeah instagram is full of sellers who are selling so many copies of the makeups yeah okay so let's begin so this is the original one and this is the fake one and now look at the packaging first so when I compare both the lipstick in the size, they look exact similar. You cannot find a difference because both are in the same size. When I look at the packaging, this is how the original one looked like. It has the Anastasia Beverly Hills written over here and it has its, you know, the kind of uh, trademark over here. At the back, you can see the color which is there in the tube. Its name is there. The cap is this kind of silver one and it has a gold rose gold band which has a little spiral design going over there. Now look now let's look at the fake one. It looks exact similar like your original one. It has this Anastasia Beverly Hills written over here. It has its trademark. Again it has a silver cap, the golden bay. A band and it has again some spiral work going on but if you look closely the spiral work is not that finished uh, you know unlike the original one so this is one of the catch at the back you can see exact same words just like the original one it talks about the color name it says it's made in US it talks about the shell life of the lipstick and also everything which is just you know it's just like copy pasted from the real one to the fake ones this is how the wand looks like. It is again a typical duo foot kind of applicator. It, this kind of lipstick does not have a very pleasant, you know, strawberry or the vanilla or creamy, you know, cupcake kind of smell. It has a little liquidy lipstick kind of smell and the original one also has the same. This is the fake one. The fake one has a very sweet smell which is very strong and also at the same time little funky smell also just like the next one. But it's not bad. It's not something bother which will bother to your nose. But yeah as you can see it is just like the original one. There is no difference as such you can make out in the packaging. Now look, look at the swatches of these lipsticks. This is the fake one and it goes really creamy and it goes really smooth. By the way, this is the shade Party Pink which I have in the fake one. You can see it's very close to the original color and also it, the consistency and the texture is very similar to the liquid lip. Now here is the swatch of the original one. It goes again very smooth, very creamy, very opaque just like the fake one. So if you look closely to the texture, you can't see any difference as such in the texture, the pigmentation or you know the formula I would say it's very very similar as you can see both of these liquid lipstick dry really matte just like the original one the fake one has also dried really matte in fact I would say the the real one has not dried up as fast as the fake one so yeah fake one if you you know if I rub my finger like this there's no much of the color but when I I can't rub it like this it's not dried fully so as you can see when I'm using this fake Anastasia liquid lipstick it goes really uh, creamy and it goes really opaque on my lips it does not feel uh, fake as such if you are using it for the first time but if you have already used the real ones you can easily see a little bit of difference in the texture and the formula it goes really opaque and I like the pigmentation of the color so you guys see when I swatch it on my lip the real one goes really creamy and the consistency is little thicker than the fake one that is the reason it takes little more time to dry up in comparison to the fake one and also the, the pigmentation is little higher than the fake one but if you see the fake one color is more bright than the real one still I could see the the real one has more pigmentation more opaqueness in comparison to the fake one so yes guys that was all about today's fake up series video I hope you guys enjoyed watching it I tried to show you as much as you know the difference which are there in the fake one and the real one and I hope anybody who is planning to buy the fake one this video was an eye-opener for such viewers and still you want to 
go ahead with that you can obviously you know you are free to use the fake ones uh, I mean it's individual choice if you want to buy or not but yeah I tried to show you as much as difference I could show you in the fake and the real one the Nastasia one is obviously a very good copy of the real one but the next one literally failed in my opinion so yeah guys let me know in the comment section how you liked it also let me know what kind of the fake series you want to see on this channel what kind of products you want to see on this in this fake series let me know in the comment section and also please give this video a big thumbs up because that is how i get to know that you guys are actually watching my video and really enjoying watching my videos so yes and also subscribe to my channel in case you guys have not subscribed yet to my channel so yes guys that was all for the day thank you so much for joining me and i shall see you soon in my next video till then you guys take care and bye bye